what is that foramen which is being shown to you in the figure basically transmits the lower foramen is the spinosum which is very close to the maxillary spine so foramen spinosum is the one which basically carries the middle meningeal artery is what need to be remembered now enzymatic activity and inhibition has been shown there is very very classical of a non competitive type of inhibition so the non competitive inhibition may km is unchanged that is what is meant by km the substrate concentration at which half maximal velocity is being achieved whether the inhibitor is there or not there by the time it has reached the rate of reaction reached the half maximal velocity it is occurring at the same substrate concentration the substrate concentration at which half maximal velocity is reached is basically called what uh km so if you take the two curves for any given uh, 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 value of uh, the rate of reaction the km is unaffected uh um then uh, inhibition i mean v max decreases maximum velocity achieved and the remaining two statements are true so that's a point then what is this lesion in a ibd patient it is pyoderma gangrenosum and basically uh what is a true statement of uh, pyoderma gangrenosum if you do proctocolectomy the pyoderma doesn't resolve and uh, it can present even before the diagnosis patients can go to a dermatologist later on develop dysentery and discovered to have ibd so pyoderma gangrenosum can precede the inflammatory bowel disease is what you need to remember it is more common in ulcerative colitis compared to that of uh, the crohn's disease then uh, a jaundice patient liver biopsy has been presented to you so this is very classical of primary biliary cirrhosis so there is an inflammatory reaction around the bile duct and uh, classically patient is developing uh, uh, primary biliary cirrhosis so primary biliary cirrhosis what is the typical uh, uh, age group that you make a diagnosis 40 typically in 40s middle aged female presenting with pruritus and jaundice is the classical description of primary biliary cirrhosis is what you need to basically remember there we elevated asd alt compared to alkaline phosphates and anti mitochondrial antibody is there and it shows a female preponderance is also a true statement is what you need to basically remember a four year old with fever and azotemia anemia dysentery renal biopsy showing presence of fibrin fibrin laden microangiopathic hemolysis uh, microangiopathic fibrin clots are the ones which are being seen so what is the commonest organism which typically lead to this it is the e coli e coli is a o157 strain is the one which is being implicated in hemolytic uremic syndrome is what you have to basically remember now what is this test which is being used is called as it is called swinging flashlight test where uh, that side where you are uh, throwing the light if there is any pathology in the optic nerve or in the retina then there is a sluggish pupillary reaction that is when you throw the light there is no direct light reflex or even consensual reflex because if the retina is damaged it can't perceive the light then neither direct nor consensual will be there but when you move the light on to the other eye the other retina will enable consensual light reflex and enable this to become constricted so constriction occurs slowly after the this has moved from here to there when the light is thrown there is no consensual reaction i mean uh, light reaction May, means people the constriction is not there after the torch has been moved out then there is a development of 
pupil reconstriction because of the otherwise consensual reaction and that looks like a lazy light reaction light reactivity which is suggestive of optic nerve disease or retinal pathology is what you have to basically remember so it's called relative afferent pupillary defect afferent retina or optic nerve is what afferent in pupillary light reaction is what you need to basically remember a paris woman comes for a pap smear and there is a painless indurated ulcer as what you can see here is classical of syphilitic ulcer one question on syphilis or uh, uh, syphilis gonococcus lymphogranuloma venerum and soft chancre without that there is no question paper huh? then uh, what is the investigation shown in the figure and what is it used for what is it being shown there is a splenic artery dorsal pancreatic artery etc this is called as pancreatic angiography so pancreatic angiography is basically used for localization of the endocrine tumors like insulin nova is what you have to basically understand then there is a lesion which is soft on palpation and it can be pushed deeper into the dermis as what you can see here what is that basically called button hole sign which is typical of neurofibroma is what you have to basically remember remember then uh, <clears throat> what are these lesions typically golden crusted lesions golden crusted lesions did they give you these images on your mobile phone blog is given no along with the address of the blog eh? so typically is seen in the case of the infatigo is what you have to basically remember they can show tomorrow in the exam a carry on a favors etc etc have a visual outlook as to how do they generally look like is very very important now you are seeing a wound what is this basically called it's called fish tailing of the wound it's like a fish tail fish tailing of the wound so fish tailing of the wound is the nature of a stab wound is what you have to basically remember now what you are seeing here it is an entry wound in a gunshot uh, what is this called abrasion collar so what is the purpose of abrasion what is the information that you get when you look at an abrasion collar that will tell what is the direction in which the bullet has come from so typically the direction of bullet is the direction of the bullet is straight then you will get an abrasion collar like this if the direction of the bullet is typically inclined then the abrasion collar will get a shape like this ha huh? option d you want to say range no abrasion collar mainly talks about the direction ha huh? it uh, differentiates abrasion collar is a feature in entry wound irrespective of the direction irrespective of the distance but the direction is the one which basically alters it it is a sign of entry wound not an exit wound but not shotgun or a long gun or a any other ak47 or whatever that is not indicated by abrasion uh, collar hmm? now what are these lesions hypopigmented macules multiple lesions are being found what is the important differential diagnosis for this this is basically post kala azar dermal leishmaniasis is what you need to basically appreciate so yeah even appg and chand are asking same doubt sir why not distance close versus uh, contact generally it is a direction indicator rather than uh, type of weapon cannot be discovered uh, uh, type of weapon cannot be discovered based on the abrasion collar but anyway we will once more review that hmm? then uh, what are these lesions many times we discuss this that the dawson's fingers which are typically seen corpus callosal opacities are there no which are seen in case of multiple sclerosis is what you need to basically remember so what is this Re retina basically bony spicule bony spicule pigmentation 
and how will be the retinal vessels in retinitis pigmentosa because of this pigmentation they will be overlapping the vessels and the vessels look like they are tapering tapering thread like appearance will be there attenuation of the vessel will be there another feature of the fundus in case of retinitis pigmentosa so what is the type of inheritance diagenic inheritance is the most common pattern in case of uh, retinitis pigmentosa is what need to be remembered so what is this type of injury basically is it montagia or galiazi galiazi hota hai niche aur montagia hota hai upar mount huh? and what is the nerve injured posterior interosseous nerve is the one which is most commonly injured is what need to be remembered so what is this lesion which you are seeing we are seeing scleritis uh yeah ad ar xld also na says appg and tyson are saying uh even orthogonal dominant orthogonal recessive and x linked other patterns of inheritance are also being found the question is that of the most common pattern of inheritance that's a uh, this idea hmm? then uh, what is this lesion scleritis scleritis is a part of uh, the rheumatoid arthritis necrotizing scleritis without inflammation is the feature of uh, uh, what uh, rheumatoid arthritis then what is this lesion it is called hemorrhagic conjunctivitis acute hemorrhagic conjunctivitis which enterovirus typically is responsible ev6 ev70 is the one which is basically responsible so i was quickly given the comment key questions i thought chalo this time we'll pick up all image possibilities whatever the questions are there and put images in uh, uh, the recent comment key if comment key were to have images it would have been like this comment key 2016 paper hmm?